Hello there. One thing I let you guys know about me, obviously, uh, you can hear my American accent, but you know, I live in the US and often you'll notice that I'll put out reviews <laughs> a lot later from when the film came out. And that's because I live in the US and I, I have to wait almost a year sometimes for certain films to come out. And I would love to review more films as soon as they come out, but unfortunately, uh, I don't have access to do that. I'm not going to torrent these films because I worked in the movie industry before. Um, I worked at a movie theater and I've actually made uh, my own movies and I went to film school. So I'm not going to rob uh, those who work in the film industry of their bread and butter. And uh, I know a lot of people think, well, they already make a lot of money. Uh, believe it or not, uh, the way things play out is not as we always assume. But I would love to review more Korean movies. And if you're a movie studio exec and you're listening to this, if you want to send me a, a legal copy, uh, a legal, not illegal, a legal copy of your film to review, I, I'd love to do that. Um, okay, so today I'm going to be reviewing a South Korean action comedy titled Lucky or Luck Key. It stars Had Jin Yu as Hyung Wook, uh, who is a hitman in the film, quote unquote. Jun Lee as Jae Sung, uh, who plays uh, an actor in the film. Yoon Hee Ho as um, Rina, who is an, a woman in the film. I forget her job in the film, but whatever, it doesn't matter. But this is a 2016 action comedy coming out of South Korea. And it is actually a remake. It is a remake of a Japanese film called Key of Life. Really quick, a quick disclaimer. If you have not seen Key of Life, um, I'm going to be referencing it a lot in this review. I strongly recommend you watch this film. I'm not going to do a review of the Key of Life at this point because I, I saw it so long ago. I just remember, however, how much it resonated with me as far as like comedy-wise. I, I really... Uh, enjoyed it. The film is about this uh, hitman, quote unquote, and this actor who happens to cross paths through an accident that happens to the hitman. He gets injured and he loses his memory. And this actor ends up taking his identity. The hitman ends up taking the identity of the actor unbeknownst to him. And so that's the story in a nutshell. But it's good premise and a, and a really funny story to be honest even before i begin does it can anyone from korea please tell me um sometimes I'll, I'll be watching a korean tv show or a korean movie and i'll notice that they'll bleep out a uh someone who has been strangled around the neck or they'll bleep out a uh, a knife but they won't bleep out a gun uh, I'd appreciate anybody explaining that to me, but <laughs> it's something I notice in the TV shows and the movies. But anyhow, uh, back to the film. Cinematography in this film is great as usual. I say that I've uh, seen many South Korean films, many Chinese films, um, and the cinematography is often very strong in their films with their use of light, their use of composition. Um, and the rule of thirds and so on and so forth they they're they're masters at uh, cinematography and this this film is no different the acting all the actors i think did a great job they were very convincing they were compelling um i believe they were the people that they were playing and, and they were all likable uh in the characters that they played story overall i would say the story had a, a some genuinely funny moments and, and I, like I said before, I, or I, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I, I enjoy Korean remakes uh, just for the fact that uh, when I see a South Korean film that's a remake, it's often translated through their cinematic style in a way that is, is very gratifying. Um, however, let me talk more about the story. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but if I were to compare this film to the original, Japanese film um, Key of Life, I would say this film fails in certain respects as far as comedy goes. The story structure is better and the pace is better in this film than it is in the Japanese version. However, 
where this story suffers in the in the Korean version is that it does not have as many powerful funny moments as the Japanese one and let me explain what I mean don't get me wrong this film has a lot of funny moments but they're not haymaker funny moments the Japanese version it's a slow film and and most live-action Japanese films that I've seen they have a slow pace but with this one it's the the pace is slow and the story is slow but when the comedy hits it hits okay and the, my problem with the Korean version is there's a lot of jokes there's a lot of funny moments but it they're not as powerful funny moments as as much as you would like and um that's one thing i i notice and for those of you who are not in america who don't know what a haymaker is it's a term that people usually use in fighting or boxing and what it's a reference to is for example if you've ever seen floyd mayweather fight he gets a lot of hits in his fight but he rarely gets a big shot that rocks the person who he's fighting to the point where they're knocked out okay i'm using that as an illustration to compare how both of these films they they use comedy but most of the jokes or the funny moments in the korean version don't land or hit well uh in my opinion japanese version it it doesn't have a lot of funny moments but when it is funny it's funny you know it, it really hits i'm thinking about a one of the opening scenes in the Japanese version where one of the characters tries to commit suicide. And it's actually a really funny moment in the film. Another issue I had with this film is that there was an age difference between two of the main characters. And honestly, although I like the characters, to me, it didn't seem realistic. Like, this, like these two characters would fall in love with each other. It just seemed a little strange to me, and even my wife, she thought it was off-putting, but yeah, that was a little strange. Uh, another thing is, in my opinion, the Japanese version, Key of Life versus La Key, has a more coherent story that makes sense, and that's more uh, entertaining to watch. This story, uh, in, in La Key, the way that they um, talk about the the reason for the actors or the or the characters doing what they're doing in, in my opinion it's not as compelling as it was in in, in the uh, japanese version so overall the the remake was good in and of itself but compared to the original i think the original is a stronger film than the south korean one the south korean one is is good by itself but in comparison i, I i'm gonna have to give it to the japanese version of it Lastly, what I would say about this film, I, I, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a 7 out of 10 uh, because I was entertained. I, I didn't enjoy the film, and this, I know this is going to seem a little contradictory, but I, I was entertained by the film. So yeah, so that's my review of the film remake, Luck Key. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.